Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, two days ago, President William Samuel Ruto donated food relief and medicine to our neighboring country, South Sudan. And uh, this raised a lot of questions in this country. I even asked myself one question. Why is it that when it comes to giving out, there is always enough to give? But when it comes to our own people, the Gaza Gashaga will always come and give us a payable number to contribute to other Kenyans who have nothing to eat. I'm yet to find the, the answer for this question. Okay, we are not saying that it is bad to give to your neighbor. Kenya as a country and of course as a big brother in East Africa, they can help their neighbors when need be. But the first thing is that before you stretch your hand to give out to your neighbor, is your children fine? Wamekula? Kabla upewe jirani? Wale watoto wako wamekula? Wakashiba? Ama unapea jirani? While your children are starving? That's the question that is disturbing my mind up to now. This is the statement that Ruto released when he was giving this food. I just want to go through it. And then after that, uh, we will analyze the Republic of Kenya statement by His Excellency William Samoy Ruto, PhD, CGH, President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander in Chief of the Defense Forces on South Sudan. As the world ushers in festive session, which comes with the hope for humanity, I note with great <coughs> concern the escalation of hostility in neighboring South Sudan between the signatories to revitalized agreement for the resolution of conflict in South Sudan. The increasing insecurity, violation, violence, disp displacement and the unfolding humanitarian crisis are detrimental to the peace and the stability of South Sudan and the East Africa region as a whole. Women and children bear the great brand and the hostility in the upper Nile and the Joglay state and are in desperate need of food, water, shelter and medical supply. Regrettably, the widening political division is imparting my hope, and hope, sorry, for resumption in the implementation of the revitalized agreement for the resolution of conflict in South Sudan. As a neighbor and a guarantor of the South Sudan peace, up, peace process, I, on behalf of Kenya, bring this concerning development to the attention of the wide international community and call for a focus on immediate intervention geared towards a de-escalation, peace and the resolution and the coexistence among the parties involved. Deeply disturbed by the evolving situation in South Sudan, I have today, the 24th of December 2022, spoke with the, my counter, His Excellency General Salvakir Mayadi and strongly implored him in concern with the all parties involved to deploy their best effort to lead the country from the brink and back to a path of durable peace as envisioned in the ARCSS. I further urged His Excellency General Salvakir Mayadi to facilitate the delivery of humanitarian assistance to the affected communities. Conscious of resulting humanitarian situation and uh, in the spirit of good neighborhood and the uh, ethos of season, I have directed that a shipment of foodstuff and uh, essential medical supply be immediately uh, lifted to Upper Nile and uh, the Glay State. Now we are continuing with this panel discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you're not a subscribe please consider subscribing. To our channel subscribers, thank you so much. And to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up.
Thank you and back to this discussion. Now, the truth of the matter is that by the fact that William Samuel Ruto is donating food to South Sudan, it is actually creating a perception that Kenya has enough for its own people. That's why they are able to reach out to their neighbor with a hand of help. That is a perception that Ruto is creating and the whole world is seeing this. So for them, they will believe because they have seen that Kenya has enough for its own people. Ya kwamba kuna mkenya mwenye analala njaa. Hata kama wako basi wachache kabisa. But Kenya is stable and it has enough. That is an impression Ruto has created. Another truth that Kenyans should know as of now is that Kenya crossed a line of the countries that is uh, on line of poverty. As of now, Kenya imekuwa upgraded to a middle income country. Because of this, there are several things Kenya cannot benefit which was it was enjoying some time back. For example, relief food, as of now we cannot get relief medicine, among other things that was coming in as help. Mambo ya misaada imekatika Kenya kwa sababu Kenya ime cross line of poverty, so hizi iko middle income country. Because of this hatuwezi pata misaada. So Kenya ni inchi ambayo inafaa ijitegemee yenyewe. Kufika hapo nadhani tuko sawa. So the reality on the ground is that we have people in this country who are sleeping on empty stomach. We are talking about people in northeastern. They literally don't have food. Sijui mara imesha waliona mvua lini. Hawana maji ya kunywa. But before president sending food to northeastern he first of all said to South Sudan, people in Turkana are dying of hunger. We have mentioned this thing repeatedly. We have seen even people like Pastor Ezekiel taking food to Sudan, uh, uh, to, to, to Turkana. Watu wa mekonda, jaime wa maliza. They don't have food. They are eating ile matunda ya musitu. Na wanakufa. You go to Lower Eastern, people are hungry. But before the president solving the problem in Kenya, he's first of all starting to solve the problem in South Sudan. Hatukataya kwamba watu wa South Sudan inafaa wasaidiwe. Ndiyo inafaa wasaidiwe. Lakini msaada wanzia kwa wale wa Kenya ambao wako kwa hii nchi. So today I don't want to waste my time analyzing. I just want to use this opportunity to go through some of the comments that Kenyans are responding to this move by President William Samuel Ruto. So let us go through the comment. Bobby Wine, this is what he's saying. Eh? It's not bad to extend the love to neighboring countries. My concern is why would we not first start with our fellow countrymen and women people in the country sleeping hungry but in silence let's preach the gospel to our people first before we go to our neighbors let's make sure kenyans are prioritized first we appreciate the effort but first start with them, our people then you extend the love this one is a pregnant point i agree with him we continue with the comments another person Carol, Caroline, but Kenyans are dying of hunger. This would be, this would have been of much help to Kenyans first. Another one, Laban Joroge. This is President Uhuru Kenyatta touching hearts while you are giving out positions. Actually, it's President Uhuru Kenyatta who is celebrating Christmas, Christmas with the children in, in a children's home. Of course, alikuwa na pelekea chakula. Kiptanui Jona. Is ironical, Kenyans are dying of hunger. Alafu, mnapatia neighboring, neighbors, food. This government, though, is just saying the truth. Abdi Kadir Shuria. Ruto is doing this after Sudan. South Sudan went Joho's way. Aki hii siyasa. I think he's talking about uh, Nini Kokule. 
uh, coast region. Is it the port or what? Something like that. Amos Biwot. This is quite ironical. People from the northern side are dying of hunger and nobody seems to care. That's true. I have said that. John Wangendo. I have an issue with this because I know that Kenyans are dying of hunger and a disease. Mr. President, fix your house first. True? Nixon Muzungu. Guy. Is he serious for real? Imagine his own citizens are dying, are dry, but he can take food stuff to other country. This is ironical for sure. We continue. Anthony Mburu. Turukana Nikama Watu Wali Shiba. The government is no longer begging for donation from its citizen. Okay, we continue. Esther Bayer. You are supplying you are supplying enough food to our country. Hey, thank you, President. It's ironic Professor Leah Ongete. Kwani sisi njaa imeisha ama sinijuzi apa mefungua pay bill ya kusaidia northern eastern and other areas watu wakufe tu Kenya na na Chakula ipelekwe nje. Who is fooling now? Charity begins at home. Lakini tumewazoea. True? Stallone VK. Kula Christmas na watu wa Northern Kenya wakuje state house. Wakule kindly. Ata ingefa during your birthday. Wakue Northern at least. Wangefraia sana. True. Elisha Eric, my friend, my friend was asking where did the GMO food go? I said I was not CID. We were going to manage GMO food in South Sudan.